Look at that. The sun is coming up as far as the eye can see on the flat horizon of this never-ending water world. Hello, everyone, and this is another episode of Sin Subnautica with me, William Strife. So, um, you know, been another week, got a lot of stuff to get done, got a lot of stuff to do. So, uh, first, and above everything else that I want to, uh, sort out, take some stuff out of my locker here, and I'm gonna make a bunch of glass, first of all, because today, guys, today is the day that we're going to, you know, build our base and whatnot. So, I've done a little bit of looking around. I think I know where I want my base to be uh, already, so I'm not going to have to spend too much time. Uh, I'm going to need some lubricant to get this uh, show on the road. Aha, uh -huh, already have some. And uh, we'll go ahead and hop inside of our little secondary base down and out here. Pop inside. I am going to need basically as much of the titanium in here that I can, as I can hold. And, um, I think what I'm going to do, because I, because it's an important thing, is I'm gonna go, go to five here, bring up my, uh, builder, and I'm gonna deconstruct these solar panels, because I don't need them, and, uh, this, this, t this tiny little temporary base doesn't need to stick around. So, this is the great thing about Subnautica, unlike other crafting building games, you can completely re, um, claim resources. So, uh, let's see. I'm also going to need additional quartz, so let's be on the lookout for that stuff. I think I'm going to need, like, eight or some odd more quartz uh, to fill my inventory of the remaining stuff that I need. I'm probably going to need more, um, what you call it? Ooh, okay, this is, this is the place that I want to build it. So, I'm going to need some more, um, uh, pfft, uh I'm having a brain fart. I'm going to need some more, uh, titanium, no doubt. And I also... Um, very importantly, I need to go searching for, like, I th think, like, s I need to find some six different pieces, six separate, uh, pieces of silver. And silver does indeed spawn in the shallows here. It looks just like the sandstone, uh, you know, bits and pieces. What the heck? Stalker teeth? What are these doing here? I have no clue how stalker teeth got here, but it seems that they don't have a dental plan out in the deep here. So, anyway, let's get to building this base. We'll go ahead and bring up the uh, menu, and we'll take the foundation, and we will build it right here. This seems a good enough place to me. And this uh, this base is going to get bigger as time goes on, but for just the initial build, I only want two multi-purpose rooms. One, and then two uh, uh, on top of it, so there's one. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Well, Ah, come on, come on, there we go. Uh, and two, build right on top of it. Okay, so with that done, um, I think I have enough titanium, just enough titanium, to uh, build, or not uh, not titanium, but quartz. I think I have just enough quartz to build a couple of solar panels onto this baby. But first, I want to put a hatch on her. So, here we go. We'll put the hatch on, and we'll put her down right there. Bingo. We'll go ahead and attach a couple of solar panels. Now, these aren't going to be generating as much power as quickly. Like, they still have the same max capacity. Aha, see? There you go. I'm already out of titanium, so I'm going to have to go back to my little secondary base and grab some extra titanium. I might as well look for some salvage because I'm going to need more titanium to get stuff built inside of the base. So, uh, after I get some salvage, I'll be right back. There we go. There! Now that that's done, we can go ahead and hop inside of the base, which has, uh, it has air because it has power. And, uh, let's go ahead and five. We need a ladder to get down to one of the lower levels, so go ahead and do that. Bingo. So, go ahead and, come on. There we go. Okay, we're on the lower level. Now, the reason, oh, I've never had that happen before. Of course, then again, I haven't built that many bases in this game. Anyway, what, what I want to do first is I want to build a bioreactor down here, which is uh, just a place to, you know, generate emergency power, if you will. So, there we go. Now, this bioreactor is going to generate power. It generates power from, uh, you know, plant life, literally. Plant life, plant matter. So, those, uh, those decomposing things that I've got in uh, the... Uh, Oops. The, the stuff that I have over in that temporary base will come in handy. Ooh, what's this? 
Ooh, free, free titanium. Nice. Now, how's my inventory doing? I'm doing all right. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to hop back and I want to deconstruct that other base and grab all of that plant material. Uh, for that matter, do I have the glass? I should have the glass. You know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to hop back inside of the base here. We'll go downstairs. And I am going to build myself... Hit five. There we go. Uh, we want to interior module. We want a locker. And quite literally, the, the purpose of this locker right here pop it down, is going to be to hold the plant matter that I'm going to shove into the bioreactor here. Let's do that. So, in the me uh, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump that stuff so I'm certain that I have enough uh, space in my inventory. Actually, there's there are stalker teeth. Can I pop those in there? I can! Huh. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to one of these stalker teeth. I don't actually know what they're for at current. I'll do, so, I'll do a little bit more research, I'll figure it out. But, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, grab the stuff out of that makeshift base that I need to get rid of. Alright, so I've completely deconstructed the other tiny little secondary base, and I've got a bunch of materials here in my inventory. So what we want to do, now the reason, um, <clears throat> why I have a second floor and a bottom floor is because I don't really want to go downstairs unless I really need to. You can see that I've got, you know, well enough power inside of this base, and I'm not going to be using any of the power up as it stands. Um, the solar panels on top are going to be enough power for the time being. But something that I am definitely going to need in here is a place to store my stuff. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build a locker. Uh, we'll build a locker right here. And with that built, uh, the next thing that we want is a uh, aquarium, which it goes right here. Now, I don't think that I have enough glass. I'm going to have to uh, go out and get some more. Yep, I don't have enough glass on me. What is this? It looks like we've got another uh, communication. Well, Terra Crew, this life pod 8 requesting immediate assistance. We have touched down too close to the crash site and radi radiation levels are too high to disembark. According to the manifest life pods, four through seven should be equipped with radiation suits. If anyone can hear this, please retrieve the suits and converge on our position for evac. Coordinates are attached. This message will now repeat. Oh, so I've got another uh, life pod that I can go ahead and check out. I've got life pods seven and eight, and they're both quite a ways out. But um, hopefully I will be able to get to looking into those uh, soon. Let's, uh, let's head back to base. Finish up constructing the aquarium there. There we go. So, uh, com aquarium finished. Now, this is a place where I can go ahead and uh, pop fish in. There we go. We've got fish, and uh, once I get a fabricator built inside of here, I will be able to, you know, uh, take these guys out and feed myself. Now, like I said, uh, this is a... Uh, this base is going to grow as time goes on. It is possible to breed fish inside of your base, um, but uh, I do not have the blueprints to build the... Uh, the chamber where you can breed fish. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and dump a bunch of stuff here, because there's a lot of things that I've got, but the main thing that I'm missing at the current moment, and uh, the big thing that I really, really need, is just a battery charger and a fabricator. But to build a battery charger and a fabricator here, I have to be able to build chipsets, and chipsets require silver. So, so, I am going to go out into the wild out there, and I'm going to be searching for silver, and whenever I find some, um, before I before I actually move away and, like, just spare you guys the boredom and the tedium of, uh, watching me do this. Uh, I can go ahead and search around here. For- here we go. This, right here. This can be silver. It's not likely to be- likely to be silver, but these limestone outcroppings can indeed hold silver. Most frequently, I'm going to be finding titanium and copper out of them. But that's what I'm looking for, okay? So if, if you're trying to follow along, you know, there's there's a lot of hit and miss experience. You can find it in the shallows and the kelp forest, just the areas around the starting area. A um, little bit of a little bit unlikely to find it, but it does uh, pop up. I'm gonna need like four to six pieces of silver, so I will. Ooh, God, oh, stalker. Thirty seconds. All right, so I'm back in the pod. I've done uh, basically an entire day's worth of searching, and I found myself six bits of titanium, a uh, pretty good amount of copper ore, and uh, some quartz and stuff. So 
uh, let's go ahead and get things on the fly. First of all, of course, uh, you don't want to overlook your person and your ability to, you know, be well fed. So I'm going to go ahead and just munch down on a whole fish. And while I'm at it, I might as well also cook a hoverfish. A new and different type of fish from this alien planet that I have not consumed and put into my body yet. Anyways, um, what we want to do, let's actually back out of here and just make absolutely certain that we're doing the right thing, because the last thing I want to do is misuse my uh, equipment. What I need is a wiring kit, a computer chip, and two titanium to build a fabricator. And the other thing that I need to create is a battery charger, which is, is a computer chip, a copper wire, and glass. So, let's make some glass, two computer chips, and some copper wire. And a wiring kit. Okay, so... First off, the one thing that I need, glass. Then, after that, I need... I need some table coral samples. Now, I believe I had table coral samples, but I left them in the base. So, my mistake. Again, these table coral samples are these babies right here. Nope, come here. There's two. Do I have enough space in my inventory? I've only got enough space for two of these samples, so I'll have to come back out and grab another one in a moment. But all the same, you know where to get them now, so resources, electronics, we'll make... Actually, let's make a wiring kit first. We only, we only need one of those, we need a computer chip. Alright, we are aboard our wonderful and uh, fantastic little base here. Uh, before I get to anything else, I want to come into uh, my inventory here. And I want to load this baby up with, um, you know, some of the plant matter that I've got. It's pro like, I don't think that uh, rotten materials really uh, do that great of anything for me or, or for the reactor. I don't think they produce that much power, but all the same, um, it's not worth uh, these, these old Chinese, these rotten Chinese potatoes are not worth eating anymore. So there's no point in keeping my hands on them. I'm going to go ahead and grab all this other stuff as much as I can carry anyway. We'll hop back up to the top side, and it's time to start fleshing this base out. So, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, hit five, left click, and we want a fabricator. So let's go ahead and pop the fabricator in right here, construct this baby with that computer chip and wiring kit that I had. There we go. And then we want to create a battery charger as well. So, go ahead and build this. Like so. Bingo. Okay, so battery charger built. Um, we are generating power for our base. So I can go ahead and open this battery charger. And I've got the empty cell. I've got some empty cells on me, so I can just left click and they'll pop in there and they'll start to recharge. Uh, at a current, my Sea uh, Glide is completely without charge. Uh, there's not even a battery in it. So. Basics, battery, two acid mushrooms, and some copper. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make two batteries for myself, and I'm going to run out, and I'm going to try to find out what's going on with um, with these life pods. Now, that's going to take me into the danger zone, so I'm going to uh, wait a little bit until, uh, you know, it's a bit brighter out. But in the meantime, I'll go ahead and make some batteries. Okay, guys, I am uh, I'm quite a ways away from the life pod, and I'm... I'm dangerously close to the Aurora because, um, the Aurora, like, there, there are some pretty nasty creatures that, uh, that hang out near the Aurora. I'm actually very concerned about being out this far. Um, I don't, I don't like a lot of the creatures that, uh, call this area of the sea home. Though there are more horrifying things out there in the deep, in the deep dark. Uh, ooh, what's, what's that? I think... Ooh, it's a sea moth fragment! Careful, careful, careful. Ah! Shite me! Okay, there we go. Oof! Where? Okay, there's the life pod. That must be the thing that tried to kill the people who were in the life pod. I'm gonna need some air. Oh, boy. Okay, let's get a little bit of air, and then I'll, I'll go straight back down and I'll see if there's anything in there. I think, um, unless I'm mistaken, and I don't think I am mistaken. I think this is the life pod where you get the, um... You get the... 
a compass upgrade or uh, attachment. Okay, there's the inn. Yeah, sure enough, I found the compass, and I found PDA, an abandoned PDA. Um, more information. Okay, so which uh, which was this is Life Pod Seven. So we'll unequip Life Pod Seven, and we will equip the compass. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a little bit more air. Whew, all right, so I am back to base, and it looks like those batteries that I had there are completely full up. Um, I might as well open this baby up and insert the other battery. It's got some full cells on me now, and uh, let us see here. I've got some other stuff that I can get rid of. So, uh, that was my journey out to look at... Uh, let us go ahead and uh, hop out on our new adventure, because uh, I'm all good to go. I've got supplies on me for the, uh, for the road ahead. What I want to do now is I want to head out in a... Let's see. That is the life pod. What I want to do is head out in a northeastern fashion, just like uh, last episode. I ended up, uh, you know, finding the floating island. What I want to find this time around is what's known as the mountain island. I'm going to go ahead and use the sea glide to get there as fast as possible. Uh, running out of time on this episode. Don't know how much of this is going to get in. But if you, uh, if you see my compass up there, and I do advise using the compass to find this island uh, appropriately, you want to literally position yourself between north and northeast. Okay, so that's east, that's north, that... This right here is northeast. You want to position yourself between north and northeast because this is the fastest way to get to the island. And of course, you can use the same technique as before, where you see, you know, the island kind of clipping on the horizon of the water there. So that's what I'm doing. And I want to get to that island specifically because I want to try to build a cutter tool today. Um, that is the last thing that I'm really concerned about. Uh, but to build a cutter, you know, most of the materials pretty simple and easy to get your hands on. Unfortunately, though, you also need a diamond, and diamonds uh, only really spawn in super deep areas of the ocean that are very dangerous. However, Mountain Island has diamonds spawning there, and it's a pretty safe place from the very beginning of the game. So, okay, another important thing to remember about this island is that there are fragments of stuff that you can use. A reinforced dive suit is here. I've also got... Uh, Plut uh, no, not plutonium. Uranium is out here as well. We can uh, crack open basalt. And hey, check that out. I got a diamond. I don't even have to go on top of this island now. Um, it behooves me to actually... Like, I actually do need to visit this island at some point in time. But um, the materials you gather are the property of the Altera Corporation. Pfft, screw you. <laughs> what a joke. Um... Now, normally, so that's the Aurora over there, this is Mountain Island, and there is stuff on this island to discover that has to do with, you know, like, the story, because there is actually a story to this game, um, and I will be coming back here at a certain point in time. Ah, I actually unlocked the reinforced dive suit. Ooh, crap, not one of those. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Get away from it. Get away from that thing. Who, who, who? Okay, so, uh... That's, uh, that's one of the more nasty enemies that, uh, spawns on this island that I don't want to have anything to do with. So, let's go ahead and scan this dive suit. Ah, that's only gonna give me titanium. Alright, so, uh, you know... <laughs> yeah, those things, um, they teleport around. I don't wanna, I, I don't wanna mess with them at all. They, uh, they'll definitely, uh, they'll definitely mess me up something serious. So I'm just gonna break a couple more of these, grab some go gold, etc. So, uh, I've got what I needed to, uh, come to this island for. I'm gonna go ahead and head back to base. Who? Uh, all right, I have returned, and, uh, we'll go ahead and load up this empty cell into the charger, like normal, and let us go ahead and look at personal tools. We need to make a laser cutter, which we need that one diamond for. It doesn't take a lot. Battery, titanium, one battery, one titanium, one diamond. So, we'll build that laser cutter. I'm gonna need to make myself more batteries, because, um... Batteries are a component in, you know, making this stuff, but with the laser cutter in my possession now, uh, let us see, it looks a whole lot like the repair tool. The laser cutter here allows me to cut through, uh, doors and sections of the Aurora, which will allow me to get to certain areas that normally I wouldn't be able to get into. 
uh, which is pretty critical for a later get uh, for you know things in later stages. But there's a lot more out there to explore. There's a lot more things for me to look into. Um, I'm gonna be you know looking into you know probably getting my hands on some of the more advanced and fancy machinery, which involves you know exploring and scanning more sophisticated tech. Didn't unlock too much of anything this time around. But uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been another episode of Subnautica with me, William Strife, and I hope that you guys are enjoying watching it. If you are, go ahead, like, favorite, subscribe, and uh, suggest the video to your friends. But otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!